Hi, my name is Danny, and I am so glad that you're here. I want to share a poem today. It is really affecting me right now in this moment. I'm going to try to, you can see little tears in my eyes. I've been trying to record this for a little bit now. I'm going to try to get through it without crying. It's very meaningful to me. And right now, personally at time of recording, this is the beginning of 2021. I'm in a big time of reflection and looking forward, looking back and looking forward uh, at life and at these years now. And so I wanted to share this, but know that any time that you're watching this is the perfect time because we already know that your reinvention, your rebirth, your new possibility, your new life can start in any moment that we decide that it is. And so this poem really is just an encapsulation of that new beginning, that new dream. And it is about, you know, risking what we think is safe and secure in service to a dream, in service to something bigger. But enough about that. I'm going to try to read it to you. It's not very long. Um, it's maybe six or seven stanzas, and they're pretty short, a couple lines apiece. So... I'm just going to read it and then we can talk about it after just for a minute. Okay, it is called For a New Beginning. It is by John O'Donohue, and I will try to get through it if I can. <laughs> In out-of-the-way places of the heart, where your thoughts never think to wander, this beginning has quietly has been quietly forming, waiting until you were ready to emerge. For a long time, it has watched your desire, feeling the emptiness growing inside you, noticing how you willed yourself on, still unable to leave what you had outgrown. It watched you play with the seduction of safety and the gray promises that sameness whispered. Heard in the waves of turmoil rise and relent, wondered, would you always live like this? Then the delight when your courage kindled and you stepped out onto new ground, your eyes young again with the energy and dream, a path of plenitude opening before you. Though your des destination is not yet clear, you can trust the promise of this opening. Unfurl yourself into the grace of beginning that is at one with your life's desire. Awaken your spirit to adventure. Hold nothing back. Learn to find ease in risk. Soon you will be home in a new rhythm, for your soul senses the world that awaits you. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. So much. Okay, I want to know if anyone can relate. Listen to, th listen to this again. So this desire has been working for you, in you, in a long way. You're noticing how this feeling of emptiness has been growing inside you. Ooh. Notice how you willed yourself on, still unable to leave what you had outgrown. Who is with me on this, right? We know that we have outgrown things. We know they're no longer serving us, but we have this false sense of security. And I love how he puts it, the gray promises that sameness whispered, right? That security we think we have in keeping things the same, even though we know they're no longer serving us. And it's like we get to this point where the pain of staying in this sameness finally outweighs whatever benefit we think we're getting from it. And it's time to change, right? Or maybe a new opportunity or a new dream is so enticing that we're willing to risk and we're willing to move forward. Either way, this, this great big opening, this great big opportunity is there for us. And all we have to do is say yes and move forward. All we have to do, I make it sound so simple. It's simple, but it's not easy, right? It's simple, but it's not necessarily easy. 
It's not easy. It's definitely not easy. What's easy is staying in the same old routine, the same old things that we've been doing, the same old things we tell ourselves. I've been sharing with you guys about this whole idea this year of freedom and security and the seeming tension between them and trying to find a balance between what I truly need, what I truly want, and that balance between security and freedom. And this poem is like that recognition that it's time to take the risk. If you're really feeling it and you have been for some time and you're just waiting on, waiting to be ready, you'll never be ready completely if you're just waiting to be ready. This is what I'm telling myself right now. So that's why I'm sharing it with you. If we're waiting for everything to all line up and be perfect, it's not going to happen. But let's just ask ourselves, you know, if the security that we think we have, is it real? And even if it is real, is it worth it? And are we ready to do something different? And I know that I am, and I'm still just searching for that balance, trying to keep myself safe and secure, but at the same time, willing to risk enough to get that adventure, to get what it is I truly, truly want. I hope this is inspiring for you. It has been for me, and I just really hope this inspires someone. Uh, what a beautiful poem, and I'll, I'll see you soon. Welcome 2021. Welcome new opportunity and new transitional times, new possibility in life. Let's do this.